Chachi, people love you, baby. Oh, I, I miss care. you, Chachi. Welcome yeah. to Propaganda with your host, Bunny. Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of Propaganda, your weekly dose for all things f***ed up in this f***ed up ass world. Name or Lou. Hi. How are you doing, baby? Good. How are you? Did you get some sleep since last week? Finally. Finally. Caught up on all my sleep. Me too. I'm like rearing and ready to roll. We are. We got yes. a busy month ahead of us. I know. I'm so excited. So much. Look at my shirt. Ooh, where do you find that? Um, where do we find that? <laughs> District13clothing.com. <laughs> District 13 13 Make sure you go to mine first, and then you can go buy some stuff from Charlie Classic if you must, because he's got some really cool stuff. And we love Charlie. We do. Shout out to Charlie. Shout out Charlie. And if you haven't watched his ASMR podcast that we Hilarious. have. Hilarious. So fucking funny. We need to do another one of those. So we blindfold Charlie and make him guess the weird things that Bunny's eating. Yeah. It's so funny. His <laughs> facial expressions and everything. He's awesome. <clears throat> so this week, this video has gone viral on the internet with a 17 million views now this is like one of those videos you find like at night and you're like what the fuck am i watching and then you watch it again i just took a late night trip to walmart turns out then i spend my money on stupid shit <laughs> that's what i got okay this is a cactus cacti a a plant, if you will. Think of a name, a name, any name, any name. Just spit it out. Ready? Three, two, one. Clover. Clover? No, it's a cactus. She's I'd rather take her myself. Dude, she's hilarious. Aloy soil allow. Mmm. Allow, 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 allow. Jimmy. Jimifer. Dominica. Who do you want to be? <laughs> Who do you feel like being? Craig? No. Just call me a botanicologist. <laughs> Craig, no. We've got plants. All right, see you later. Watch the attitude. <laughs> I love her. She's amazing. Dude, she's hilarious. Isn't TikTok awesome? Because it's like people you would never see are Ever. fucking hilarious. Yes. I mean, it, I love it. I love that it gives like people just of all walks of life the opportunity to just showcase yeah, how fucking great they are. Zero algorithms. You love can be it. going from things that you love to watch to some shit like that. No, <laughs> it's nuts. It's I love so it. fucking weird. Yeah. I love it. A uh, Canadian businessman burned a million dollars in cash to avoid paying his ex-wife child support. Stole my story. That's all right. <laughs> we could share the story. How Today, fucking what? great is that? Dude, he is so iconic. <laughs> if I was on the receiving end, I would probably be a little upset. But if he's got a million dollars to burn, he's burn. got another million to fucking worry exactly. about, you know? So what was he paying exactly? It was So Canadian businessman and failed Merrill... M-A-Y-O-R-A-L Mayrell Evidently he ran for mayor and didn't make it And they were trying oh. to clown him I've never heard that <laughs> fucking word before He was thrown in jail for 30 days After telling a judge He burned 1 million Canadian dollars in cash Which is actually more money in US money Isn't it? Isn't their dollar worth more than ours Or something like that? It's the currency I don't know Anyways In two separate bonfires To avoid paying his wife's spousal and child support As part of their divorce settlement But it was for the kids his, Okay, I would His say name was Bruce Oh. Bruce is an asshole name anyway. It really so. is. Yeah. So Brucey. If it was for child support, that's kind of fucked up, Bruce. But if it was for like marriage shit, yeah. then yeah, fuck the bitch. I'm feeling like <laughs> she probably already has a nice chunk coming to her. Has so to. he was just like, fuck you, I'm going to burn yeah. this. What does burning do, though? That just like diminish his income or something? What the fuck? Bruce McConville, 55, told a judge he withdrew about 1 million Canadian dollars, about 750,000 USD. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's less oh, and yeah. 25 separate withdrawals from six separate bank accounts. He claimed he then burned the cash in two bonfires on September 23rd and 296,000 on December 15th. McConnell, who ran for mayor for Ottawa in 2018, claimed to have receipts to prove he withdrew the money. He said he did not record the bonfires and no one witnessed him set the cash ablaze. That sounds like he's lying. Liar, he put that liar, shit in an offshore. on fire. Yeah, he shot. He put that shit in an offshore account. So authority are asking for people to stop pooping in a sacred temple in Machu Picchu. Listen, you've been talking about poop every week, okay? <laughs> what is Mimi's obsession with turds? The old shit logs. <laughs> What is going on? Six tourists were arrested after authorities found feces inside of the World Heritage Site Temple. 
<laughs> Ugh, God, imagine what that smells like. So after a long, difficult journey to Machu Picchu. Where the <laughs> fuck is Machu Picchu? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know, but it's a 500-year-old. <laughs> we just do the show. We don't know how if Canadian money is more than American mm-hmm. money. We don't know where Machu Picchu we is. We weren't great we just at know history. People are shitting there. <laughs> yeah, just stop shitting in the yeah. 200. Or no, sorry, it's a 500-year-old site. So Peru, maybe, mm, maybe. Um, if you choose to shit inside of the hollow grounds to worship, then you there is something deeply wrong with you. It says. Okay, wait a second. So they're shitting in the hollow grounds. Yeah, the the hallowed ground. So it's so like it's like sacred. dug out. No, oh. like sacred. Well, like, a hollowed ground would be oh, well, if there's a hollow I hole, think right? Is hollowed two words? Like, <laughs> oh God, one of those we are words so with dumb. Two meetings. Listen, I wore the shirt on the right day. Okay, <laughs> shit inside the hallowed grounds of a worshiping room. Oh. oh, they shit in a worship room. That's terrible. That's fucked up. Uh, why are they doing that? Why are they shitting? Who was the first person to do that? Because you know everybody's a fucking uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry. They right? fucking just have to follow the leader. So they somebody took a dump. Another person was like, I want to take a dump. And then yeah. now they're all dumping. Man suffers from a really huge big toe on TLC's My Feet Are Killing Me. Brian Mills' left big toe is so large that the one next to it had to be removed. Mills was born with the enlarged toe, which grew so big that the toe next to it had to be removed when he was two years old. Mills told podiatrist Dr. Ebony Vincent that walking is a challenge. Feels like I'm walking on sandpaper, and a lot of times I start to tend to walk on the side of my foot, and that causes a lot of pain to the other foot. Mills admits that he fears his toe could be cancerous. Oh, that sucks. Aww. Which is why he hasn't seen a doctor about it since he was a kid. Aww. How big is this toe? Tell me what's going on. I have a foot that's uh, kind of deformed. My big toe kind of outgrew the rest of my feet. and uh, I would stick it in people's butts. <laughs> like, come here, bitch. Sit on it. And spin. I want to know how big this toe is. Take your shoe off. We want to see it. Show me the goods. <laughs> Get to the point. Dude, I'd be making money off it. Well, I guess he is with his show, but it can't be that big of a That doctor's that hot as shit. shit. Okay. <laughs> so it looks like the beginning of a porn. Oh, God. Here we go. Ooh, I wonder what it smells like. Oh. What the fuck? Oh. That's like a little baby hand. Oh, what is that shit next to it? A corn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh the doctor's just really rubbing on it. It was a very big toe. That looks like a dick. It, it, it's very <laughs> all dick toe. Doesn't it look penis. like a helmet head? It I does. Like this. He's got a dick for a foot. Dude. Oh, dick toe. Dick toe. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Brian I Mills. I wouldn't be making fucking money off that shit. I'd be in some freak show. I would tell a bitch to the sit world. and spin. Kansas man asks oh, a judge. God, Kansas people. <laughs> we love Can- Kansas. Kansas man asks the judge to let him engage in a sword fight with his ex-wife. I dig it. All these men are fucking fighting back. They're part of the Me Too movement. <laughs> they I are. I like it. At least they're getting some balls and not getting, you know, because a lot of women when are very vindictive. Like when oh, it comes yeah. to divorce court, you know, mm-hmm. and men just kind of have to barrel over and just take it in the ass sometimes, you know, <laughs> and I like that motherfuckers are burning millions of dollars and this one wants a sword fight. A sword fight <laughs> with his ex-wife. David, 40 years old, asked the Iowa District Court to give him 12 weeks to find swords for his requested battle. Oh my God, he wants to kill the bitch. I think so. Like, He's I, like, I want to just chop her fucking head off. <laughs> to this day, trial by combat has never been banned banned or restricted as a right in the u.s wow david argued this in court oh my gosh so he might actually be able to do it we gotta keep up with this fucking story and david find out. we want you on here yeah david would be holy hilarious. crap man whose headaches made him vomit had tapeworms in his brains for 10 years how the fuck did no one know that doctors think the tapeworm had been growing slowly ever since the man contracted it from eating undercooked pork in mexico and this ladies and gentlemen is why i don't eat pork i don't eat red meat either but i really won't eat fucking you want pork. to know a fun fact about pork it's got cancer in it and a whole bunch of other shit so pigs don't sweat so mm-hmm. all their toxins are, are stored in, in their meat yep so when you go to fry a piece 
piece of pork and it makes all that popping noise, that's urine and oh. stuff popping. Yeah. So when you're cooking pork, the kid, it took me forever to break Bailey from eating pork. And finally, I just had to show her a whole bunch of shit. And she's like, I'm hasn't touched pork. <laughs> Gerardo said he had been having headaches and feeling off for months before he had an MRI scan after fainting while playing football last year. Describing the pain of his headaches, he told NBC, it's very intense, very strong because it made me sweat sweat from the pain pain in the head and then i would vomit from the pain dude i wonder if that's what Haley has oh my god you think tapeworms in her fucking noggin well she got those headaches every single day every time i get a headache now now i'm gonna think i have a fucking tapeworm oh great oh <laughs> god here we go another thing to worry about with my anxiety <laughs> all right mimi it's time to talk again <laughs> Josh. Josh is joining us for the talk again. Duh. Hey, you guys. So last week we asked you guys to make a Chachi page and yes. we had so many people make a Chachi page, but there's this one Chachi page My that fave. has like over 300 followers already. Yes, let's and so we out. just had to fucking go with that one because they, that person really wanted it. They were Dude, they posting, up. they yes. were doing Q and A's. I was going to say in the stories, they did a Q and A. <laughs> yeah. Jay loves the Chachi page. Like he literally was sitting there watching the Chachi page, laughing his ass off. <laughs> I was talking to him and I was like, babe, blah, blah, blah. and he's like, hold on. I'm reading the Chachi question. I'm like, I can't even believe you're this invested in that fucking page. If you guys want to follow it, it's Mr. Chachi underscore Blart. Yeah, Chachi Blart reporting for duty. This person killed it. We've got, oh, 458 followers. Yay. Oh, my God. Right? Rich bitch. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what happens when people jump and just let their faces go. Oh, my God. We got to do this. <laughs> This will be so fucking funny. All my fillers will like stay in one place. <laughs> Your face isn't going to move. It's not going to move. <laughs> my eyebrow might wiggle. That's hilarious. I love that. Kids, man, they got nothing but fucking time, dude, dude to do this really? stuff. Dude, really? A damn dog done jumped in the damn drive through damn window, bro. The hell wrong with this nigga? <laughs> Kilo! <laughs> A damn dog done jumped out the damn. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Oh, Chachi! Why aren't you crazy like that? <laughs> I would love if Chachi jumped in a fucking right? window. And I love at the end how he's just like, my bad. Yeah, he's like, my bad. <laughs> that is so funny. Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick. <gasps> boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Oh, my God. Dude, First damn, of all, how boy. do you learn? Damn, boy, he's thick. I love that Chach turned around right when that happened and showed his butt. Oh, God. <laughs> How do you fucking mi figure out that your eyes pop out that far? So when I found that video, he, the guy was actually live on TikTok, and I clicked in on it, and at the exact moment, he popped his eyeballs out. He can even do one eyeball at a time and, like, switch them out. Who and then just, fucking knows that they can do shit like this? I like, wonder if you, they get, like, dried you out. That like, you can do that. That's so... Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, mom went to go save. Oh shit! Oh man, that kid ate shit, dude. Hard. God, mom fucking I think twisted her damn knee. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Propaganda. I need you to tickle my pickle down here and wet my whistle right here and whatever the other one is down here or tell us to go fuck ourselves <laughs> <laughs> either way we'll be back next week bye <laughs>